Hello and welcome back to Marcus playing Frozen Synapse episode 5. 5. Who does 5? Hi. I got sick yesterday. I'm still sick. So if I get a little bit slow in my commentary today... Sorry. That was pretty much all I wanted to say. Let's begin. There's a weird line running through the exact center of the stage. I wonder what that is. Oh! I selected a unit. And it's that unit's line of sight, I just realized. Well then. We've solved one mystery. On to the next. How the hell do we approach this puzzle? This is the exact next stage after the one we just completed. I think we saw, we saw that it was bronze, and we went like, What the fuck? It should be bronze! It should be bronze! Uh, when we were really loud and it didn't sound good. But now I've adjusted my microphone settings, so now, being really loud should sound really good again. Excitement. Exciting excitement of excitement. Exciting. But what's important? Soulsby's telling us about this. What's happening? I don't actually remember. I think I remember what's happening. We pro I'm gonna call it now. We have to assassinate Bradshaw, who's a civilian. More killing of unarmed people, but he's important, so it's okay. I mean... Alright. That's an interesting story. Mm-hmm. Interesting story. Mm-hmm. Okay. Our target is Bradshaw. I read that much. <laughs> Whatever. I was supposed to read these segments, right? Can I read them again? No? Chat? Connected looking up host name? I don't know what you're doing. Oh! Hashtag Mode 7 Games. Oh, it's the chat room! That's adorable. Okay. Let's flip and get right the fuck into this. So... What do we have? We have a lot of enemies. There's one, two rocketeers. There's one, two, three, four, five assaultmen and two shotgunmen. Now the shotgunmen are all, all in conditions that positions that do not threaten us at the moment. This one's probably going to come around somewhere and become a hindrance. This guy's probably going to stick around and defend Bradshaw. What we have to do is get one of our one, two, three, four, five units past all of these guys and two Bradshaw. Now, the yellow guys, if the last couple missions were of any example, uh, are not going to help us out, like, at all. I'm sad that the one rocket launcherman... Damn it, I didn't mean to right-click. No. <laughs> we're back. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm only sad because the only guy with the rocket launcher is not on our side. Well, he is, but he's not in my control, so I can't make actually effective tactical decisions. What is interesting is there's just lots of enemies here, so there's a lot to consider now. Because either of these two Rocketeers are a big deal. This one's less so because he can't really cause any damage in this turn. This one can, though. And in fact, we're going to immediately direct him... Well, we're going to try a couple options out. We're going to try out an option where he fires into here and tries to kill my babe. Uh, this guy is my babe, by the way, in case you were to wear number five. Um, who I would otherwise have just pointing this way and kind of waiting behind this cover for that guy to kind of expose himself, and that's not going to happen. They just aren't going to interact, and what happens is, yay, he just gets exposure, but not killed. Um, can you actually kill him by taking different trajectory? Let's try this one. Probably can. The thing about rocket launchers here is they destroy cover, uh, and kill enemies where they explode, but that's the only thing they can do. And you have to tell them explicitly where to fire for them to even do anything at all. Mm. Thankfully, though, they don't have a very large explosion radius, so if you have, like... With most units, if you have a second and a half, or... Well, it depends on where you're at. If you have, to, if you have two seconds before impact, you can get almost any unit out of the range of the explosion, safely. The only downside is cover helps you none. So if you are in cover that the rocket man shoots at, then you are just in bad trouble, in bad juju, in having a bad time. Mm. Now number five in general, actually, now that I look at this, number five is having a bad time in general. Because look at where he is. He's got these two guys pointing right at him if he tries to make an escape. Uh, he's got this guy also pointing right at him if he tries to make any moves. He's got this guy exploding him if he tries not to make any moves. And he's got, he's, although he's surrounded by friends who can potentially try to take some of the fire off. Um, so there's a lot of variables here. These guys, thankfully, are not any of them. So I'm going to happily ignore numbers 7, 2, and 4 on the red team. Uh, also number 1, number 5 can make himself relevant. Uh, so setting up this first turn, as ever, is going to be really scary. We're already, like, what, 4 minutes deep into the video? We should be making decisions, so let's begin. First of all, a shotgunman, whatever happens, you need to leave where you are right now. So, let's first account for all the possible explosions that mm, our friend the Rocketeer can cause over here, and try to account for those. So what happens if he fires right there? Explosion actually hits, and our shotgunman gets past with no trouble. 
What if he actually moves and then fires? Like, over here where there's a bit of a delay. So, so there's a bit of a delay. And then he moves into cover. I mean, that works. And then he moves into various cover. What happens then? I think then our rocket, our shotgunman... Oh, he still evades it! Wow, that's a really small explosion radius, actually. Now, what happens if he shoots at here instead? That's my real only concern. Only real concern. I want him to get by here safely, no matter what this rocketman decides. And see, that's where the problems come in. The rocketman aims for the far wall in an attempt to take this guy out. There's gonna be trouble. What I can hope to do, though, is position him in such a way that he has an immediate problem for the rocketman. However, that is unlikely to happen. So maybe what I actually want to do with Captain Shotgun this round is simply have him move up to near the entrance and then hide just for this time and then see what happens. If I had some Rocketman of my own, I would kind of be busting these circular shapes that we have for some reason started inside. I don't know if these are like elevator shafts. I thought they were some kind of fuel holding, um, what are they called? They're not cells, are they? <laughs> some kind of huge canisters like the kind silos, that's the word. And I don't know why, silos don't have cover in them. But neither do giant elevators, do they? So this is a really confusing, like, situation scenario for me. I don't know what's up. But regardless, what I, all I was saying was if I had my own rocket launcher dudes, I would have them blow up some of these, some of the walls here so that these guys could maneuver more easily. No, I don't want to play Azarius. There is exactly one syllable, one syllable? One vowel too many in your name. I only play with people named Kurisu, or counting the syllables real quickly, uh, Delfina, or uh, that's pretty much it. Those are my only two friends. Or Jenny, or Asora, or or what else is there? Or Psycho. He's a, he's a, he's a guy I played with. Or or yeah, that's it. <laughs> but nobody with four vowels. Four vowels in your name, we're fucking done! Alright, so moving on from that. Mm. Yeah, no, my last name doesn't have four vowels. Do you like how I made that joke and then spent way too long analyzing whether it held up to further scrutiny, and then it accidentally did? I like that. When did that happen? Oh, right now? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm embarrassed. So what can possibly happen? This guy can come up here and immediately start firing on... Oh, my shotgunman, who I forgot was here. He is going to make a break for I don't fucking know. I think he's just gonna run for here and try to take this guy out. And whoever tries to round this cor these corners, there's gonna be a lot of fire coming down this way, though. I wonder if he can evade this guy by ducking at the right time. Let's try it. No, he can't. He's dead. No, oh, it was too late. Maybe if he ducks a little earlier, <laughs> could that could that work? Do it. I believe in you. No. No! He made the ducking animation, but it was far too late. Like this. Eh. Yes! Oh my god, he dodged it! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh, that's cool! I wish I could- I wish I had like- do I have a ruler on this desk so I could draw lines on the screen? And not like draw, but like just put lines on the screen to figure out where his line of sight is exactly. Actually, I can just do this, can't I? Like, where does he take aim? Right there. So, select this, go here. And drag his aim. That's exactly as far as it goes. And so, I can move this even a little bit further this way, and he'll be safe. Even if this guy aims! This is a big deal. So what if we have him coming around the corner aiming? Is that gonna make a difference? Uh, he aims a lot better. His, his aim was a lot tighter. Did you see that? It's going to fire. Much tighter. But, um, thankfully, it's still. Cat and fast shotguns. He's got his wits about him. Okay. Um, I'm neglecting to show you that uh, the rocket launchers can actually fire into low cover as well if they're ducking while they fire. But this guy is not going to benefit from that, so I'm not going to simulate those scenarios out because he's got this piece like directly in his way, so he can't fire into any of these without spending a lot of time moving first. Mm -hmm. This guy, I mean, unless he blows some of this cover up for his own sake or kills himself, that has also happened. I wouldn't put it past him. Um... By accident, that's not like some dark piece of coding, I hope. Mm. <sighs> so this guy's not going to be a problem, neither. See, he might be, actually, if he blows up one of these walls, and then thus gives number four, like, advantage onto everyone. 
But number one is gonna hide behind this cover anyway. And same goes for number four. He can't actually reach either of them from that kind, from those kinds of positions. Nothing like nothing he can explode from where he is is going to endanger these guys like perfectly. So all that's left is to make sure this guy gets away safely. Like what happens if he doesn't fire at all? Instead, runs this way in an attempt to distract Mr. Shotgun. Well, a he runs really slowly, and Mr. Shotgun ducks far before he gets in range to kill him. So that should not be a problem. Um, he's still pretty safe. There's no other rocketeers now. What's the? I'm really concerned about leaving him where he is because I believe, as we established, he is actually at risk of getting shot up, um, like, like that. Was that the was that the move? Yep, that's the move that puts him at risk. But I suspect if we move him a little bit this way, that won't actually happen, and he'll still have a really good advantage on everything. Damn it! It still does. A little bit more, <laughs> please. <laughs> Can I move him like back here instead? My safety. Oh no, he gets distracted. Oh, that works. Oh, the radius of the explosion is hindered based on what cover it has already destroyed. I did not know that before. That is interesting information. God damn it, Cacao Talk. I don't care that I'm logged out. Ugh. Now my email address was on screen for a second. Marcus, edit that. I'm gonna put a little note on the timer. There we go. I'm gonna cover that up so you can't email me with your spam. Your spam telling me how cool I am. I don't need that. I know. Okay. Mm. What can you do, meanwhile? You can pretty much run back here and cower. Like this. Ah, fuck you. Mmm. So what also happens is new opportunities for death appear, I see. So first of all, what I need him to do is continue on sight. So cancel this thing entirely, continue on sight all the way here. Oh god, there's just no good cover, is there? And then take aim this way. On the presumption that this cover will be gone or exploded, and that he needs to be safe. Mm. This means that once it is exploded, he will... Actually, if these guys are aiming this way anyway, and perhaps trying to move out, which I think I'm going to try to have them do, like something like this, maybe. That means, well, well we're going to see what happens exactly. I'm not going to, they're not going to ascribe move, moves to these yellow guys because they're a fucking waste of my time. Um, <laughs> everyone's, honestly. I don't, I think of a sign, I want this guy to cower here for a second and then, like, move on real quickly here. So continue on sight, and stand, and run all the way fucking over here, and into here, and then take aim like up this way, and shoot anybody through windows that you can. Let's try it out. So he might be at risk from this guy if this guy stays at this window. Let's see how and whether that happens. Just trying everything out because this like first round is apparently the most crucial. I don't see him taking, I don't see him firing on my guy yet, but I did notice that I can actually make his route a little longer and a little safer this way, so that he gets behind this piece of cover quicker, and is less susceptible to this guy shooting at him. Okay, I did see he's, I don't think he's going to get a shot off either way, so I'm going to leave him right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you get here, and then you take aim, and then you can shoot at anybody still moving around here. They might get a shot out at you first though, so actually maybe start aiming as early as here for your inevitable position in office as the president of this window, presiding over this window, shooting anybody that comes through this window. <sighs> that is your job description. Uh, 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 didn't mean to do the gargle. Oh god, this is scary! <laughs> I don't want this. Oh boy. Also, we're gonna presume that this guy kind of rounds the corner and tries to do some kind of sneaky maneuvers through this building, I guess. Let's see what happens. Like, what if he takes aim here and then cancels aim here and then takes aim here? Alright. Shotgun, we're gonna presume stays put. This guy, we're gonna presume to stay shut. These guys, we're gonna presume aren't dangerous until we find out what they do. We're gonna prime! It's happening. Took like 10 fucking minutes. Oh god, even more. This is gonna be a slow episode. As I was saying at the start, I'm a little sick. I'm sorry. My brain is working slower, but I can't 
put, a, put off making a video and I do not have anything else that I would play better. What am I talking about? I could have played Joe Danger instead of this. Okay, frozen synapses black screen. It is not responding. Don't crash, please. I really like this series. Okay, it's just loading weirdly like that one time. It's gonna fix itself, I promise. It's responding again. Nope. <laughs> no, it isn't. Music's still playing. Remain hopeful. Consider opening up a num the number file video you have in the background. Ugh, dude, fucking come on, man. Okay. I get it, it's a lot to compute, but you are not under stress, computer. This is not an intense game. There we go, scenario data is being assimilated. That's what we wanted to see. Two and a half. No, wait, no, never mind. Two fifths through. Two fifths of the way through the bloating bar. Outcome, let's see what happens. Dear God. He did fire down there. What a dickhole. Alright. Dear God. Dear God. Dear God. Dear God. Sharpshooting tactics. Thanks! I have no idea what happened for most of that. Oh my god, it's chaos! There's so much movement, so this guy immediately crouches and fires. And becomes really scary for number five due to his crouch firing. I totally forgot that he has a view on these low covers down here. And it actually looks at this stage like it's going to come and hit that low cover, but it doesn't, as you might have noticed. I kind of saw what happened down here. Uh, number three is pretty safe, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Everybody that could be shooting number three is not going to do that. Um, I'm actually going to look at what happened up here now. So, these guys took defensive positions and didn't really fire on anybody. This guy kind of hid, so number four can't have advantage on him. Number one is just away from anywhere that he could be useful. However, now is actually the time that number one should make his extremely speedy escape. Um, okay. Such as this, so that number four over there can't possibly get any view on him, even if he does like aiming and aiming and strafing over this way. Let's see if that like works out for him. Number number two, stop stop crouching immediately. Stand up. Not even don't even stand up there, stand up on the very first note of your movement. You dick! I'm telling you to do stuff! Damn it! Okay, close enough, whatever. We're gone. And then okay. Head right for anywhere that this guy could- Oh my god, am I using my shotgunners to do all the work again? Seriously? Is this just a thing that's going to happen forever now? Is this my identity? Okay. This is what this guy's going to do. I'm gonna get behind cover and take some crazy good aim. Cancel aim. Duck. Stand. Duck, duck, goose. And then you can... Are you like not going Oh, you were just taking a really long time to take aim because these guys are behind a lot of cover. And you're behind only one piece of cover. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. You are going to keep moving through here, actually, and then down this way. Because if you, if you actually, yeah, not actually past this window because that's really risky. Number one could take you out. Um, so by going through here, you are working together with number one, number two. Um, the pee and poo, um, partnership. I don't, I don't know. That was, that was a joke. Have some, have some tired, ill man's jokes for you. Uh, basically, yeah, numbers one and two are going to work together here to cover all the possible ground where number red, where red six could be going. Um, number one is also going to take as long, like, a detour going around, uh, number w red one's window in case Red One is, like, specifically pointing up here and ready to kill any motherfuckers. Mm. Okay, you're also going to stand up immediately, because that's just, sitting is not where we want you. Oh, okay, good. Number One doesn't shoot him. Uh, probably isn't going to get a shot out at a uh, Green One either. Now, once you get in here, past here, you're going to move on a... Well, dude, seriously, there's nothing here. Come on, you can do this. Stop bugging out pathing, please. <laughs> You're going to want to make as straight a line as possible to immediately come in and fuck up all these kids. All them. All them getting messed up! It's, it's just happening. This is just what is. This is what is. You want to know what is? This. Oh yeah. So, what if they try to advance? Is number three going to make a big deal? Yes, he is! Number three is going to help. So, they're going to take out this guy, whatever he tries to do, like regardless. Like, no matter what, he's just, he's just doomed. Doomed forever. Goodbye. Doomed forever. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Ooh, number... This guy's not in a good place, though. 
you, I think, actually, maybe that's risky, but it's probably worth it. You should make a mad, uh, continue on sighting dash for this piece of cover, right? Mm. Like this, actually, so that you immediately get behind the cover, and then you run to it, and then you also duck for hiding purposes because they're going to try to fire at you immediately. And, oh, jeez, there's so much fire coming out of this ho hallway. Ah! Uh, <laughs> this is exciting. I planned the first turn really well, and now just everything is going my way. Oh, my gosh. I don't need to eliminate everybody. I just need to get to Bradshaw. Essentially, I could be ignoring these guys, but I feel like leaving number four here to, here to tr at least try and cover this area is going to make a bit of a difference. Um, yeah, you, you can probably mess me up real easy, can't you? Actually, not. You need to get out from behind that cover. That might be difficult for you. We could go over here and then duck. Yeah, also he totally did what I said that he wouldn't do. He made, he broke this cover so that his other troops could have line of sight to me. Ah, jeez. That's actually... Oh wait, that is in the music, it's just really quiet compared to my whistling. <laughs> okay. I'm so nervous! Ah! Thanks, Soulsby, you can stop ha having said that now. <laughs> just left her up there in the corner for so long. Um, what what could this guy possibly do to evade death? Like, can, I, can, he, can he fire here and just try to take out one shotgunner? Probably can't, no, just let's try this. Oh my gosh, that's totally an option. A really scary, dicky option. Hmm. Actually, maybe I should... Mm. I'm reconsidering this guy's path now. With that exact piece of knowledge in mind, I'm gonna have him run a much straighter path down here. Still gonna run behind here to break any line of sight that these guys might achieve on him. In fact, I am... I need to check all these. I don't want to lose any people. I want to be as impressive and cool as possible. And then you go here, and then you take aim. What happens then? You stop number two. Wow. You definitely try. Maybe you don't even try. I don't know. You didn't fire at him at all. And then he comes around this corner, and all your shit gets fucked! In scientific terms. In scientific terms, this situation is referred to as the, uh, your shit gets fucked strategy. Observable in terms of how much their shit is about to get fucked. If you're curious about the exact degree by which shit is about to get fucked up, um, you may... I don't fucking know. Look, look at this shit, it's getting fucked! God. This is too intense. Okay, I think I've made all my decisions. System We're gonna prime and see what happens. I can't clap along, I'm too nervous. Uh, the shape forms are evaporating. God damn it! It's black screening again. Good golly! If this is a half hour episode, I'm gonna be really happy. But I somehow suspect it's gonna go a bit longer. Maybe not if the shotgunner does his job well. The number two, I believe. Yeah. If uh, if green two does what he's what he's there for. Or rather, if I have given him the proper commands, I'm not putting any responsibility on the shape forms who act out very simple mechanics. Of the video game, we're nearly there. I got, okay, I've got some tea here. I'm gonna sip it. Mm, room temperature. I need to microwave this. Yep, yep, yep. They're totally taking up defensive positions. The shotgunner has left the building. This is bad. Okay, so what happened? Number three didn't. Didn't reach the window. He was stopped by number eight. That was bad. I did not. Didn't. I thought I gave him a command. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I was hoping that that aim command that I gave him right there would have been sufficient to have him like safely take out anybody here. But I expected these guys to keep moving out, but they're totally holding defensive positions right now. This might get scary because. Yeah, that guy stays there. He's gonna. He's gonna beat out number two. Oh boy. Alright, first of all, you need to stand. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And 
you need to not go further than this for now. Okay. So in case anybody tries to move and stop you, you are the shotgunner, you have ultimate carte launch. You cannot move in, but that's why this guy is moving. So these guys try to take aim and take him out. That's not going to work because he's moving so fast, like a bolt of lightning. If this guy tries to move over here and take you out, number green two, it's also not going to work. It is going to work because fuck you. You're going to need to take aim right away. Wait, I thought you had equal opportunity. That's kind of bullshit. Kind of bullshit. Um, I contest this lot. Oh my god, why does he win? Is it because he was aiming earlier? Maybe. I, I think so. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, what's happening? I wanted this... I wanted you to move here and then take aim again. It's really risky and scary and maybe a little stupid. Extremely stupid, in fact. It's not gonna work ever. Okay. Okay. Fuck. Wait! my time trying to go through the corridor. Number two. Um it's it's just it's just your step up. You can do this. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. And you all you gotta do is fucking get to this window and the game is yours. Boom. You, all you have to do is make sure that nobody gets their ass out of this corridor ever. In like ever. In, in ever in life. These guys are just gonna shoot at each other, I think. Yep, mine is dead. Number four is dead, he can do nothing. I'm just gonna duck to make him preserve his dignity and or life. Continue on sight. God damn it. I'm giving commands to the wrong unit again, am I? Who do I even have selected? Add away point. Nobody, cool. Select you, duck, continue on sight. Alright, I'm gonna save you the trouble. Number- this guy also dies. Yellow, whatever his number is. He doesn't even have a number, he's just stupid fucking yellow. He's also gonna die first, even though I was totally distracting number four over here. Can't even give him theoretical commands. And yellows really do suck, don't they? That's not what I wanted. Mm. All that needs to happen is these two need to get to the appropriate windows. And Bradshaw will be fucked up forever. It's just what's happening. Like, what can, what can happen that isn't that now? I'm kind of curious. Number five could potentially endanger us, but not before we get to our target. What if number one doesn't reach him first? What happens then to number two? Number two still wins. Unless Bradshaw runs away. In which case, number two's gonna have to adjust his trajectory a little bit to get away from that guy and then go right for the window and right for the kill. <sighs> like this. Try it out. Yep, there it is. Boom. Boom, it's over. I think I have this in the bag. What can Bradshaw do? He can try to, if he foresees this, he can... Oh, pressing back space a lot actually and selects the unit. Okay, run out of turns. Um, he can try to run here for safety, but, well, let's see. He would get away from the shotgunners. In fact, both of them, actually. But he would still take out five, even if five was aiming. One could come back up and kind of mess this up, but only through one window, because for the next one, number one would show up and kind of make this like a completely inhospitable shotgun, full of shotgun shot zone. Um, in which case, these guys could come over and mess him up, except number five is still covering this hallway pretty competently. Not perfectly, but pretty competently. They can still sneak out from here, but they are relatively unlikely to at this stage. Hmm... I think this is the best bet I have. It's all my units. System Prime! Mm -hmm. How far into the episode are we? I have to keep checking because I'm insecure about making really long videos that are boring. Messed up the melody again! Damn it! I've, I've been... Everything I do today, being slightly sick, is a little bit worse than normal. Most days I could have nailed that melody all the way from beginning to end. Ugh. Okay. I think it went offbeat. What am I- what, see what I'm saying?! It's bullshit! Alright, outcome. I'm so scared right now, I also have to pee. Fucking- I did it! Bradshaw's fucking dead! Excellent work! Gaining control of the station will enable us to build further habitats in this region and expand the Pan-Arc presence. I guess. 
Just what we've always wanted, more Panarchs. The joke is that Panarchs are not good. Who are Panarchs? I don't know. You, you're the one reading the fucking dossiers. I win. Everybody just stopped. Ah, oh, sweet. Man, that was a lot easier than I anticipated. I kept looking at this corridor being super intimidating because I was assuming that the shotgunner was still here and I couldn't get any of my, um... Lost connection to the Grand. I don't know. Should I care about that? It's not important to me right now. Ah. I kept assuming that I couldn't get anybody here if the shotgunner was here to take him out from a longer distance. Please ensure you have an active- I don't! My connection isn't working right now. God, do you need me to- Okay, I'll disconnect and reconnect. All on camera. This is great TV. This is great TV. Join us next time after the- after- after this message from our sponsors. Because it's- it's on TV. It's a joke. Thank you. What the f- Okay, can I see the result now? Nope, it's the next mission. Well, I don't know if I got a gold or a silver or a bullshit piece of shit, bronze shit. So, we're gonna read some of this information. Fat forms. Let's load the dossier. Hmm. And, and you know my put one? Hmm. Cool. What do you have to say, Smythe? Nice. Blackwa? Slowing down a little bit because that was not nearly a second. Cool. Soulsby. Apparently we don't like the Panarchs that much. Maybe they're like another faction that um, hangs out and doesn't like Enyo Nomad. Syndicated news. Ice red power outages and Torpor leave thousands struggling. N3. The Panarch collaborative. Subversion cloaked in benevolence. I don't fucking know, man. Well, uh, that was fun. Blackwood Broadcasting Facility Torpor Incursion. So it's another break-in. I remember this stage specifically. We finally get rocket launchers. That's exciting, right? <sighs> fucking better be. This series needs boost. No, it doesn't. Azarius! I FUCKING TOLD YOU! I didn't even have to click. He just fucking backed out. Thank you for joining me. This has been Marcus who plays uh, Frozen Synapse with uh, a sickness inside him and a full bladder. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Join me tomorrow as we do more of this, or I don't know, maybe I play Dishonored or something, or some more Painkiller, a little more Bleed, I don't know. I keep acting like I'll come back to that, I'm not coming back to Bleed. I thought I would, but, you know, never mind. It's too hard. It's too difficult, I can't do it. It's exactly not fun enough, but it's still really fun, and I'm still really looking forward to Bleed too. This is not the end slate I was hoping for! Thanks for watching, I love you, bye. Mwah.